What is up guys, Dakota here, and welcome back to the Driven Mad channel. Um, now in today's video, we're gonna be talking about how 35s and no lift have affected the on-road driving of my Jeep. You know, so gas mileage, ride quality, everything. Um, now, if you're curious on how they do off-road, you know, if there's any rubbing, I did make a separate video going over kind of all of that, and I'll put a link up there so you can check that out, as well as kind of which tires I got. Um, you know, and kind of why I went with them. I'll also leave a link to that as well. But let's go ahead and get started. And the first thing that we're going to talk about is like ride and noise from going from a C load tire rating to something that's heavier and a E load tire rating to wider um, and taller, obviously. So, has there been any, you know, downsides of it? And Currently, I would say they, they ride better, or the same, really better than uh, the old tires. And part of that has to do with, you know, like on little chatter and things, like uh, obviously not necessarily every giant bump, but like say over railroad tracks, because there is now more sidewall of the tire, there's more tire to help the suspension as opposed to, you know, if you take 22 inch wheels and throw them on a Jeep, it's gonna ride a lot worse. So the more sidewall you have, typically the, the better ride. And so far that has been true. It's a little bit uh, smoother over the smaller kind of uh, chatter in the roads. And uh, noise level, they the original tires I had, which were KO2s, just smaller, um, were great. They weren't they weren't noisy at all. And now I've got, you know, at 36,000 miles, they were louder than they used to be. Um, but now I've got the same tires with a thousand miles on them, and they are. Uh, just as quiet as the old ones were so they're not any louder, which is awesome uh, That's one of the big reasons as to why I went with the KO2 was because When you're going to do long road trips, it's nice to have a tire that isn't just whirring away and buzzing away um, on the road So overall the tires as far as like just noise level and comfort and everything are Fantastic. I haven't had I've had them on now for about a month um and so far they are they are fantastic no no complaints as far as that stuff goes so i guess the next thing that we should talk about is kind of how has it been as far as um you know acceleration deceleration braking and things like that you know because these tires are about 14 pounds heavier per corner so when you're in two-wheel drive high you've got an extra that dip's got an extra 28 28 pounds that it's got to turn and move so you know have i noticed it um, a lot or has it been kind of negligible so um, around town honestly I haven't really noticed it when you're just kind of driving along you know going up to about 45 50 miles an hour or so and then coming back down with stoplights and things you don't really notice the extra weight like I haven't really noticed it around town uh, as far as braking again at those types of speeds you don't I, I genuinely don't notice it and I'm trying to I'm trying to be super nitpicky to see if I can pick up on it, and I don't really notice it. Now, with that being said, on the highway, when you're just cruising, you know, uh, and you've got it in six gear, now keep in mind, my Jeep is a manual, and I have stock gearing, so I've got 410 gears and a six-speed manual. Um, but when you're just cruising on the highway, that's when I notice a bit more of the weight. Um, because if I'm in six gear cruising and I wanna speed up a little bit, I really need to downshift um, to like fifth or fourth to actually start to get moving a little bit um, just because this particular engine the v6 I have doesn't make a lot of low-end torque and when you're just cruising at 2,000 rpm it doesn't have a lot of grunt to get going so on the highway trying to accelerate you do need to downshift um, and then braking again from like say 70 miles an hour I notice I notice it a little bit but nothing to where it's like oh my god I'm not gonna be able to stop it's not that bad it's just since I'm paying so close attention to it I can notice a difference and then obviously also um, like I said I've got a manual so if you're with a if you have a JL but with the 8 speed you're probably not gonna notice that difference that I just pointed out simply because you've got two extra gear ratios to help you you know i've got six gears the auto has eight speeds so you're probably not going to notice it as much if you have an auto so that'll be one one of the benefits i guess if you have an automatic is you're it's going to feel basically the same to you 
um, with these particular tires uh, because I only really notice it when I'm at 70 miles an hour and I'm trying to pass or speed up a little bit. That's the only real time that I notice um, any difference. So far, overall, not that big of a deal as far as just normal day-to-day -day driving, just minor differences here and there. All right, and speaking of you know the extra weight and how it handles on day-to-day -day driving the next thing would be to talk about gas mileage um, which I know someone in the comments is gonna be like dur, 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 it's a Jeep you shouldn't care but like you know if you're cool filling up 15 times a week then be my guest um, <laughs> but anyways so uh, typically on my stock tires the best I could usually get on the highway cruising at like 70 miles an hour or so is about 18 18 and a half um, and around town 17 or so and uh so the differences that i noticed i took a trip uh to hidden falls which is about a four hour drive for me give or take three and a half hours i got i averaged 16.8 mpg on the highway so a little less um compared to say the 18 that i would normally get so about a mile per gallon uh or 1.5 miles per gallon less than i typically get um which again on the highways where again I'm if I need to accelerate I have to downshift you know one to two times to try to get that that extra speed to go to go where I need to go or pass where I need to go or if I'm going up a hill in the hill country you know got a downshift um, and around town I've been getting about let's check here just to see kind of what I'm looking like I've been getting about 16 around town so you know it's about it's basically averaging out to be about 1.5 1 to 1 1.5 mpg worse than the stock tires again bigger taller wider um and 14 pounds heavier at all four corners so that's not that surprising it's not that bad um but it is a little bit worse now again if you have a eight speed automatic jl it's probably going to be even less because again you've got two extra ratios um, to go through so it might not have to downshift two or three times it might only have to downshift once to stay where it needs to be in order to um, accelerate <clears throat> now also one of the things I wanted to point out like I just said the tires are heavier and the only really time I noticed the the weight um, is in the steering the steering's a little bit heavier it's not drastic but again I'm being kind of paying really close attention so I can kind of give you guys the, the best feedback I can. And it's a little heavier off center. When you come off of center in the steering, it you do notice it's a little bit heavier. And especially when you're going slower, you can you can feel it a little bit. Um, but nothing too crazy to where you feel like you're gonna break something. It's just, I, I notice that it is a tiny bit heavier. And then I guess one of the questions that I've actually been getting quite a lot um, is you know people asking, can the diffs handle handle the extra weight in the bigger tire and now my jeep is a jl rubicon so it's got the dana 44 standard um and yes they can absolutely handle the extra weight if they can handle 37s so you know it's there's nothing to worry about now if you have a sport that has the for lack of a better word less um strong diffs then obviously if you throw 35s on your sport or sport s you're gonna have a lot more rubbing issues and things in general um, but even those should be fine running 35s for the most part. Um, but yeah, as far as the, are the diffs strong enough? Absolutely. I mean, dudes are running 40 inch tires on stock diffs. I don't recommend that, but people are doing it. Um, so adding 35s, I mean, the Jeep engineers designed the JL to work with 35s from the factory. So, um, you're not going to be putting any... You're not going to be putting too much stress on your diffs by going just immediately putting 35s on there. So the diffs are fine. And I guess the last thing uh, that we should talk about is um, some people have asked me kind of like about speedo concerns. You know, the speedometer being off because the tires are larger. Um, and now naturally, if you're really worried about this, just tell whoever you're getting to install the tires. Hey, make sure that these are adjusted correctly. Now, where I took it, it was the Jeep dealership and they did that. So that's all correct. And again, if you're really concerned about that, just make it clear to the people who are installing the tires, hey, I need to make sure that this is done. And if they don't have that tool, then take it to somebody who does. Um, but that's, that's something that I've been getting asked a lot. And like I said, it wasn't that big of a deal. I got it done. 
so no issues there all right guys so that's basically kind of the the overall impressions of how they are on road um they're fantastic as far as noise level and ride quality not that much worse gas mileage wise especially if you have an automatic you're going to notice it even less performance wise on a day-to-day -day use not that bad especially again if you have an automatic you're going to notice it less than i am so overall i'm super happy with them and after putting them on like you don't need a lift like with the rubicon you genuinely don't need it i mean if you guys watch the off-road video i never rubbed i had plenty of room um and they've been great i also have no rubbing when i'm turning the wheel lock to lock um you know in parking lots or whatever so overall i'm super happy with them and now i've kind of decided that if i go with like a two inch lift later on down the road i'm probably going to get 37s just because i, I think it would look look kind of like my jeep skip leg day if i if i did because these seem to fit fairly well so anyways guys um i hope this video was helpful for you guys you know if you're trying to decide if you want to put 35s on your jeep or not um, i hope it was helpful if it was make sure to give it a like and subscribe and uh, make sure you click that bell notification so you get notified for more videos and i will see you guys in the next one take care